today we are going to build our own digital voting machine. This project is perfect for learning about digital input and output and creating something truly impactful. Here's what we will need for this project. First we have the Arduino board. Next we have 16 into 2 LCD display with 16 pins. If you want to know more about LCD displays, click the info card above. One I2C module to simplify the wiring of LCD. Next we will need 5 push buttons. Each button represents a different candidate or option in the voting process. Two LEDs to indicate different state of the voting machine. One LED will light up when a vote is cast and the other will indicate the winner of if there is a tie. Two 220 ohm resistors, one breadboard, one USB cable, some jumper wires, a double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch, and two rechargeable batteries. Follow along as we assemble the circuit. First, let's look at the circuit diagram to see how everything connects. Now start with the Arduino board, place it on your workspace. Next, we connect the five push button to the breadboard. Space them out evenly so each button has enough space. These buttons will be connected to digital pins 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 on the Arduino. Using jumper wires, connect one side of the each button to the digital pin 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the Arduino. The other side of each button should be connected to the ground rail on the breadboard. Now let's connect the LEDs. Place the LEDs on the breadboard, ensuring the longer leg that is anode on one side and the shorter leg that is cathode on the ground rail on the breadboard. We'll connect the resistor to the anodes of LEDs like this. Connect the anode of first LED to pin 12 and the anode of second LED to pin 13. Next we'll connect the LCD display with the I2C module. The I2C module simplifies the wiring to just four connections, VCC, GND, SDA and SCL. Connect the VCC pin of the I2C module to the 5V pin on the Arduino and the GND pin to the ground. Then connect the SDA pin to the SDA pin on the Arduino and the SCL pin to SCL pin. Finally, let's ensure all components share a common ground. Connect the ground rail on the breadboard to a ground pin on the Arduino. That's it. Again, verify your connections according to the circuit diagram. With our circuit set up, it's time to write some code. Download the code and library file by using the link provided in the description below. Now open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. First we need to include the necessary libraries. The wet.h library is for I2C communication and liquid crystal underscore I2C.h is for controlling our LCD display. We initialize the LCD with the I2C address which is 0 cross 27 and specify the dimension of the display that is 16 columns and 2 rows. Now we define the pins for our voting buttons. Each candidate will, will have one button assigned to them. I have assigned buttons to digital pin 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The first four buttons are for voting and the fifth button is for displaying result. Next we create variables to store the vote count for each candidate. Initially all vote counts are set to 0. Now let's move on the setup function. This runs once when the Adreno is powered on. Here we define all our buttons as inputs and set up the two LEDs as outputs. Next we initialize the LCD display. This ensures the LCD turns on and displays a welcome message. The delay 2000 command holds the message for 2 seconds. Now we set up the voting option on the LCD screen. This displays the candidate A, B, C and D on the top row of the LCD. Now let's move to the loop function. This is where the main voting logic happens. Here we continuously update the vote count below each candidate on the LCD. Now let's check for button press. If a button is pressed, the corresponding vote count increases. This checks if button 1 is pressed. If it is, the vote count for candidate A increases by 1 and an LED blinks to confirm the vote. The same logic is applied for button 2, 3 and 4, increasing votes for candidate B, C and D respectively. When button 5 is pressed, we calculate the winner. First, we add up all the votes. If candidate A has the highest votes, the LCD displays A wins for 3 seconds. The same logic is applied for candidate B, C and D. If two or more candidates have the same highest votes, the LCD displays vote tied. If no votes were cast, the LCD will display no vote polled. And that's how our digital voting machine works. Every vote is counted and at the end we get the winner displayed on the LCD. Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using a USB cable. 
Then go there and select the port in the same menu and select board that is Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Power the Arduino by using the battery holder with the DC jack. Now let's see how our digital voting machine works. It is designed to register votes for four candidates using push buttons and display the result on an LCD screen. If we have five push buttons here, fours are used for voting A, B, C and D. The fifth button is used to display the results. When you press button A, the vote count for candidate A increases and the LCD updates to show the new vote count. The same goes for button B, C and D. Each button press increases the vote count for the corresponding candidates and updates the LCD screen. Once all votes are in, pressing the result button will determine the final winner. The votes are tallied and the candidate with the most vote is displayed on the screen. If there is a tie or no votes, appropriate message are sold. For example, if a candidate B has the most vote, the LCD will display B wins. If no votes are cast, it will display no votes pulled. And if there is a tie, it will show vote tied. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.